All right, so I was waiting for this. The Play for Dream MR just received Virtual Desktop. If you're not familiar with it, that is the best app to actually stream PC VR games to your Quest 3. And now it's available also here. Why this excited? Well, this thing is still micro OLED displays with a resolution of 3552 by 3880 each eye. And yeah, they look incredible. So just the idea to use these panels to play PC VR games with the best software available for it out there, it's very exciting. But is video enough to actually make this the best wireless PC VR on the market today? Well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, and here we are in virtual desktop. It took 12 minutes and uh, 32 seconds for me to realize that I never started the camera to actually record. Very smart of me. We are in a pistol web, and I have to say that everything looks already absolutely stunning. I've been using virtual desktop for like uh, some days already as a, a preview, so. I actually tune a bit all the settings, and right now I'm also keeping over here the AV110 bit with the VDXR uh, working in godlike mode. So uh, we're using the OpenXR support directly uh, from Virtual Desktop and works already like a charm. Uh, the tracking is completely spot on, the latency is very good. to we'll also play. Pistol whip over here, even if I'm not the best player around. And yeah, colors, darkness, contrast, everything looks absolutely fantastic. Let me show the settings that I'm using. It's a godlike mode for the 4090, that's a graphic card that I have, uh, 90 FPS with a maximum bitrate and the sharpening at 30% because over that, it's kind of get a bit weird. I'm using Gamma 1.2 and increased video nominal range uh, that makes the darker part darker and the bright colors brighter. Uh, and this is a kind of a combination also with the disabled color vibrance uh, to don't have too much compression that might actually have happen because we're streaming wireless at the end of the day. It's amazing that we have the support for Snapdragon game super resolution that scales the image in the headset and also a synchronous space warp, you know, in cases that the games are a bit too heavy on the graphic card to work at half the frame rate. By the way, over here, as you can see, we have all the details with the AV1 coded, the VDXR, uh, that is one that supports OpenXR and uh, yeah, usually here you might see some compression because it tends to have a darker uh, spots and a color palette that is very similar. So it's very important to have a good stream. And I have to say that everything uh, looks very, very good indeed. But I can kind of confirm that we're not, whoa, all right, that we're not running a complete full uh, resolution over here as well. And for some reason, the FOV seems a bit more constricted uh, than using ALVR, for example. Something that maybe a guy from Virtual Desktop might have to fix. Yeah, this is not the best example to see the colors, of course, uh, considering there's a very post-apocalyptic greedy uh, kind of game, uh, but I absolutely love this one. Uh, I love the first one and it just got out also on Quest, so it's amazing to see that here. Everything looks very, very nice. Tracking is put on to actually shoot around and uh, yeah, another pass, no thumbs ups. But let's get in some games where compression is very, very important to defeat. And we're talking about, for example, Elite Dangers and the simulators where we need uh, a lot of resolution and quality at distance to enjoy the fastness of space and uh, get immersed. But yeah, I love to use also in the True Lenses Elite Dangers as an example, because here you see the compression right away uh, in space and in the galaxy, if that, that is present. And I think with these settings, uh, everything looks absolutely stunning indeed and extra immersive. 
uh, with no perceived um, compression, but yeah, we lose some details in the dark uh, using this way. So we always uh, kind of have a trade-off over here. Everything looks like tons better than what it did before. And uh, I will absolutely love to lose uh, so much time over here streaming like this at a very good frame rate as well at this compression so yeah let's make some uh, risky moves with the new mark 5 but yeah here we go everything looks absolutely stunning over here the micro OLED display is really shiny in these kinds of games and uh, yeah, again, I'm not sure if you're using the full resolution on the panel uh, right now uh, from the stream. Let's see right away. Because for this game, we're actually using Steam VR, and we can see uh, that it's actually 100%. We are at 3072 by 3216. And if we put it 150, it's a 3760 by 3936. So yeah, we can super sample it, but it seems like we're actually uh, getting a lower resolution uh, from the stream directly. There is something that hopefully will be fixed in the future. Does it look bad? No, it looks absolutely stunning over here. Again, I will like use it as my main VR headset for PC VR, mostly because of the comfort that it has and also the ability to actually use different applications and to have just the wireless possibilities. But yeah, the resolution is still a bit lower. Also, it's kind of curious that we have the Quest 3 controllers in our hands in VD. But yeah, this is the last game I wanna test. I usually use it for the True Lenses video. Uh, so it's very interesting to see it already over here. I can read everything on the steering wheel, no problem at all. And I can actually see the cars getting in the first chicane and getting out of the first chicane with this resolution. But it ain't perfect. I can see, again, uh, some limits in the FOV. Rendering resolution is already good enough. It feels a bit softer, but wow. So is this the ultimate wireless PC VR? Well, so far I have to say that nothing even comes close. Uh, the quality compared to the Quest 3 that is the best one after it in terms of resolution, uh, it, it's not even close. Like uh, the, ability, the thing that we don't have, screen door effect, the thing that we have OLED displays that give you very dark blacks, like pitch blacks uh, and very bright color is absolutely fantastic. I think that VD really needs some more work. Uh, this is at the end of the day, uh, the first release, there are some glitches around. Yeah, it seems that the resolution is not really as high as it should be. And I wonder if it, that's the limit of the XR2 Plus Gen 2 chipset that we have inside. I just love that this makes playing PC VR extra easy wireless. Uh, you're really one little tap away in the menu and uh, yeah you can also use your desktop directly to play your games flat games emulating the gamepad with your motion controllers as you can see so is this the killer app for the play for dream mr well to be honest i think so <laughs> But yeah, True Lens is video soon and also the software tour, so stay tuned. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Gonna keep playing a bit here. Don't mind me.